Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this VL53 L0X laser, laser distance module with LCD1602 and I2C module, which has four wires to measure distance. As you can see here, we'll display in millimeter or in centimeter. And I will show you how to use this LCD2004 20 characters for line instead of this 1602. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. I have uh, two other videos. One is explaining this one that displays the distance in serial monitor with full detail and reviewing and looking at the data sheet. And also I have another video that is fully explaining this one. The link will be provided for both of these at the description below. But in case if you have any question when you watch this video, you can go and watch these two separate videos so you, your questions will be answered because I will try to keep it short here. Now let me show you the uh, wiring for this 1602 and then 2004 for both of these because at the, on this uh, back is the same I square C module. The pins are exactly the same. So we have ground and VCC. VCC will be connected to to the five volts here, and then ground is connected to the ground. At the end we have SDA and SCL. SDA is connected to A4 and SCL is connected to A5. In this module, we we do the same. VCC will be connected to 5 volts. Ground will be connected to the ground. SCL is connected to A5 and SDA will be connected to A4. And the last pin, XSHAT, the middle pin, the two last pin are not used. So this wire is not connected. Explain something here, the I square C communication is a bus, meaning that uh, SDA and SCL of this module and SDA and SCL of this module can be connected together and there is no problem because they will be communicating through binary codes and there will not be any issue. So I will extend the code, uh, the pen from here to here. So we have multiple pens and because I cannot insert SDA of this module and SDA of this module together into one, one of the holes, I'm just connecting SDA from here and separately extend it because I have five pins here and also SCL for example here and I will extend it here. And here I have connected analog four to this line. All of this is one line and then analog, analog five I've connected it to here. So from here, this is analog 4, analog 5. I will, give, I will also provide with a code at the bottom of the same page. I'm going to provide you this scanner, scanner code. As you can see, it shows that the first device is 27, the second one is 29. So you simply, by disconnecting your device from the board, you can discover it. So this is the LCD screen. I'm just disconnecting it and watch here. One of them will disappear. The 27 will disappear. So 29 is the address for this one. And, and the, if I put this back, you will see that 27 will come back. And it now disconnecting the laser. And you can see the reading 29 will disappear. So now it's 27. So this is 27 and the, the other one is 29 and you can connect them together at the same location from here to the breadboard. Let me now explain the code. This line is for uh, I square T communication. Uh, you don't need anything. This is included with our Arduino IDE. This is the uh, class or library for the VL 53L0X, which I provide you the link that you can get. And then in this line from this class, we are creating this object. And then this is another class for the LCD, which we will create LCD object. And this is the address for the uh, LCD screen that I have. And within this other fruit.h uh, file, 
uh, you can set the address for your module in case if the module is different you can set it here so this is the beginning of this file around line 27 and then from here a uh, constant integer type the type is either you set at one or two if you set it in one, one you will get in millimeter if you set it at two you will get in centimeter the values and then the unit value variable is internally used do not change it inside the setup we set 9600 baht for the serial monitor which is this value it must match otherwise you will not be able to read this and then wire begin that's the for i square c communication this is initializing the sensor this is a timeout for the sensor you do not change any of this this one you might change it depending on your application and this is for uh, start continuous because it has different modes or of uh, measurement and then this these two are for lcd this initializes the lcd and then this sets the backlight inside the loop we are measuring the distance in millimeter and storing it in a integer variable distance and this is printing the distance this is the word here after that we are clearing the uh, LCD from the previous value and then we are putting this text this is a text that uh, you are reading here and then we are setting the character 0 line 1 which means we go to the next line So we go to the, uh, this is line 0, character 0, that's line 0 and that's character 1, 2, 3, up to 16, up to 15, from 0 to 15, that's line 1. So this means character 0 of line 1, that's line 0, this is line 1, and we put DIST with a dot and then colon, and then <coughs> this is being printed. After that we say go to character 7 of line 1 that is 7 character that's 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 it starts from here and then here we said if the type is equal to this equal two equals mean compare so it compares this with 2 if it's 2 then we get the distance divided by because it's centimeter divided by 10 convert it to float and then the result of this calculation will be distance centimeter and then we set the text this text here a centimeter or millimeter the unit and then lcd dot print this will print the value which you are reading here in millimeter and then on the serial monitor we print this calculated value as centimeter and then we print the unit on the serial monitor so the unit will be displayed once for both of these otherwise if it's not equal to we set the unit in millimeter and then print the distance which is the original distance here in millimeter so we print that and on serial monitor we print the same distance and then we print the unit on the serial monitor and here the unit on the lcd screen and this is for timeout if the timeout occurs the one that you set it will give you the error and print a new line and then we wait uh, 100 millisecond and the loop continues like that thank you for watching this was how to use the vl 53 l0x laser distance meter with lcd 1602 and i2c module uh, if you have any question or comment please post it at the description at the comment section below i'll try to answer and reply and don't forget to subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos thank you